we are leaving Kuala Lumpur today. We're off to Malacca, which is about two hours drive south of Kuala Lumpur. I'm just upstairs getting all our stuff together and packing. Stephen is downstairs. We just had breakfast and everything. It is, I don't know, like 10 o'clock, something like that. Let me see. It is, oh yeah, two minutes past 10 and our bus is half past 12. So we've got to get to the bus station in Kuala Lumpur, which is about seven kilometers away. So we'll just grab um, a grab or an Uber or something. In fact, somebody commented on one of my other videos that grab is a much better thing to use in Malaysia than Uber. Let me know if you've used them, like what's the, I think I found that when I've tried, I have tried both, I think, and that grab always seems slightly more expensive. Let me know if you have any knowledge on that. But yeah, I'm gonna finish packing and then we are gonna head over to the bus station. Remember, Rose just said to Steve, no, we know what to do this time. Last time we came here, we didn't have a clue whether we had to, because we booked our tickets online. We didn't know whether we had to, like, just go down to the bus or get, like, a paper ticket or whatever. We do have to get a paper ticket. And we know the place to go. That's well, nice, isn't it? it? We will go and get a ticket. Do you want to grab anything for the journey? Sandwich or anything? Or? Yeah. Okay, we'll go to the shop. We went to the shop and grabbed some snacks for the journey. I made a complete fool of myself. Because I knocked my bag, I like turned around trying to squeeze through this like that thingies. What are they called? Right. Walkways. No, it's over there where we cut them, remember? The walkways are so thin, oh. narrow, and as I was walking through my bag, I knocked all the tic tacs off the shelf. Oops. Right, let's go and sort our ticket out. This is where you come, by the way, in case you're here, like you don't go, if you've booked online, there's all loads of tickets over there but there's this one here where you redeem ticket E, F and G. Let me find it. Okay we found it we couldn't find our gate thing because it's in a different place than last time. Gate 10 we are down the escalator. <laughs> Is your bag heavy Stephen? Yeah yeah. Safe journey. Oh, I think our bus is here. Let's go and see if we can get on. Hopefully, we can just get on and dump our bags. Okay, we're getting on. 25, 26. We're on. It's always so nice when you um, get on the transport when we've been carrying our bags. Oh, yeah. There's really nice buses actually in Malaysia, like the seats are very really huge, I don't know if you can tell, but they're very really big seats. And there's loads of space and like, the seats go back and stuff, they're really quite nice. Like, this is a two hour journey. And we're off, this bus is pretty empty to be honest, there's not many people on it at all. We can move around, oh, bye bye Kuala Lumpur, I'm sure we'll be back at some point. I just got on the map and actually it says it's only like 1 hour 13 minutes to Malacca. We've just arrived in Malacca. It's 20 past 2 so yeah just under 2 hours that took. Let's go and check in. We checked in to the smallest room possible, but we quite like it because when we're looking for hotels to stay here, Stephen really likes and I like actually. It just so when you have a mattress on the floor, it sounds really cheap of us, but actually we like that. Yes. And so we got aircon. Oh. Nice, well done. Stephen's oh. got the aircon working. I was sure it was um, a fan room. So, that's not bad. I think we're paying, well, we are paying seven pound. It is tiny, like it's literally just a bed. Let me show you. So like you come through the door here and then this is the room. It's like literally 
just the bed. But it's good enough for us that we're happy with that for like seven pounds. What do you really expect? And we've got our own bathroom. God knows, but it's alright, isn't it? Look at this right next to our hotel. We've just come out now, by the way, obviously, for a little wander. It's like one of those big towers, like observation towers, that you can go up. Maybe we'll go up it. Oh my goodness, I'm so sure I've got my sunglasses out. Oh, I hope they're in my bag and I'll have a look. Yeah, so we're just gonna have a little wander, see what there is around, and um, maybe go on a little bit of cruise or something. We're not sure yet. We're just gonna go and have a little mooch about. And look at this random. So, I don't know whether it's part of a museum or what the deal is. I feel like we're walking, yeah, we're walking kind of in, in the middle of the road. We need to get out of the way. From the looks of it, just from the taxi ride to the um, hotel, but from looks of Malacca, it just looks like a really cute, nice little uh, town. I think I'm going to like it here. But look at it, look at the road. I'm sure it is a uh, UNESCO World Heritage Site. And there's another ship there. It's a cute little place. And the tuk-tuks, I'm not being joking, look at the tuk-tuks, I'll show you them more, they're more um, parked up over here. I'll show you them, they're like completely blinged out with like flowers and um, Elsa and Anna and... I think, yeah, that is a museum there, I think, Stephen, possibly. With the boat. The stairs going up to the boat. Okay, I've consulted my little map and this over here is, of course, the Maritime Museum and the one over there is the TLDM Museum, which doesn't mean anything to me at the moment, but I will figure out what it is. I have learned a little bit about Malacca from like our various museum visits around Malaysia. There's like seven, I think, maybe seven different eras. Like the Portuguese era, the Dutch era, the British era, Japanese era, British again maybe, and then when Malaysia became independent in 19... When did Malaysia even 57. Remember, this that's the flagpole in Kuala Lumpur. Um, yeah, so I know a little bit about it in terms of it's, it ha it's had loads of people like take over it and stuff. So I think, oh, a Pokemon tuk tuk, missed it. See, check out that Pokemon Pikachu um, tuk tuk. Did you see it? Pikachu Tuk Tuk. That's the one I would want. No, I'd want a Squirtle Tuk Tuk if they offered one of those. It is so nice here. We're gonna wander down to the jetty over there and see about uh, getting a little bit of a cruise. Okay, we've got our tickets. That cost 29, which I've no idea what it is, but not bad. You got him? Hello. Thank you. Thank you. As I was saying, yeah, it's like 29 minutes, which is about five pound. And it's about, lasted about 40 minutes. You just kind of do a loop that like you go up 
I say a loop, you know, it's like you're there and back. But it was just nice to see all along the river. It's so beautiful here. I really, really like it. We spotted like some cool restaurants and that all that street art was amazing. There's so much street art. I think we'll probably like wander down tomorrow possibly and take a closer look at it all. Oh look, Stephen. This is like a little cannon. There's cannons coming out of it. But there's bits that like Dutch layer five. I can't really read it on Dutch camera. Layer 10, Dutch layer ten. So where the Dutch So the Portuguese built that wall there. The Dutch yeah you can. I want to straight that one thing. Yeah, but isn't it? And then this is what is up the steps. The sun is really bright. It's we've very glary. Look, we've got the cannons changed to the be kids. higher. Yeah. Yeah, the kids. Oh, look, Stephen's thinking of the kids. The kids could just come and go plop down there. They all they light it all up at night. It's nice at night. <laughs> it's not loud, but it's... Sounds loud to me. It's a teeny little. Little. Yeah. I don't think I can fit. Oh, yeah. Is it echoey? Yeah. Hello. Hello. Oh, look, there's three little. Is it echoey? Yeah, it is echoey. Echoey. Echoey, echoey, echoey. This is where all the tuk tuks are, by the way. I'll show you them when we get down. There's some proper blinged out ones. See, look at them. Check that one out. Check out this, um, what's that? No, it's not Hello Kitty. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah. Hello Kitty one. Oh yeah, Hello Kitty, it says in the back. They're all crazy. Hey! hey. No, thank you! <laughs> yeah. Awesome. See, look, there's a Frozen one. Oh, there's a Pokemon one. They're crazy. Oh yeah, an Iron Man one. <laughs> But there's a little windmill. The Dutch must have left that when they were here. I think maybe. A little market stall over here. Why are we walking this way? It round. I don't know, why not? We're just having a little wander trying to find something to eat. Check this out. The orangutan house. That's pretty cool. That thing in the window is creepy. Yeah, that thing in the window is creepy. Look at that. That would freak me out like of a night if I was just walking past it and I looked at it. I used walking past it and it looks like that's spooky. Check this out as well. We saw this from the uh, river. So nice. This is the same sort of style as where have we seen it before? I can't remember now. But we've seen this kind of style street art before somewhere. Oh, we're just getting a juice. I'm getting a honeydew melon. Stephen's getting orange. I got our juices, oh my goodness. Mine is delicious. Honeydew melon juice, I think that's my new favorite thing. Yours nice? Nice with more orange. Stephen never goes to anything different, he just always gets orange. So boring. <laughs> so you know this thing that we were just at before, like the fort with all the cannons? We were just reading that when the British took over in like, nine, no, 19, seven, what was it? 1795? 18. Yeah, but 1795, like in, like in like 1809. 1709. Yeah, in like 1809, the British destroyed the, uh, the fort of Malacca. 1807, okay. 1807, the British destroyed the fort to try and encourage people to move to Penang, which apparently didn't work. Oh, we idiots, those British destroying that fort. Oh, well, we finished our little wander in the centre for now. We will come back tomorrow. I don't know how long we're going to stay here. I've got two nights at the moment, but I think we we'll probably will stay for more. Because I have a really nice feeling about this place. You know, when you survive somewhere and you're like, yes, I like this place. We're almost back at our hotel, and look what they're setting up. My favourite thing a little night market. Gotta love a night market. Stephen's not interested in them. <laughs> At all. I think he thinks he knows the way home. Do you know the way home? Yeah. Oh. I don't think, I think it's that way. He doesn't know the way. <laughs> um, I'm not yeah, there it is. LB. Um, yeah, we're going home to work. Stephen hasn't done any last week. I think it was we set out. I don't know if you watched the vlog. I don't know. I don't know. But we set out like a schedule of things for him to be doing. 
each week, like not specific to each day or whatever, but throughout the whole week, certain like tasks and certain things that he needs to do. And he was dead good last week, he kind of completed it all. And this week, what day is it? Friday? And he's done pretty much nothing. He's done like one hour of maths work and a piano lesson. And I keep saying to him every single day, have you done it, have you done it, have you done it, have you done it? And he doesn't do anything, so he's got a lot to do. He's not very happy about it. it maybe his um, time management skills need a bit of uh, sorting out. <laughs> 